what do we want for ourselves and how do we make change in our own backyard first? And I think the biggest thing is we want our industry to reflect the world and the world's changed and Hollywood has got to change with it. With over 25 years in the game, Rashida Jones has a lot to be proud of. Her impressive resume covers music, acting, directing, producing, and writing. This multi-hyphenate crushes everything she touches from then to now. Rashida Leah Jones was born in Los Angeles to actress Peggy Lipton and record producer Quincy Jones. From a young age, Rashida was drawn to reading and writing. In Quincy's autobiography, he said the six-year-old Rashida would constantly be in her bed reading four books with a flashlight past bedtime. That dedication to knowledge served her well at the Berkeley School in Sherman Oaks, where she discovered her love of acting. After graduating high school, Rashida attended Harvard University where she initially wanted to become a lawyer, but then switched to studying religion and philosophy while focusing on the performing arts. In 1997, Rashida graduated and booked her first professional acting role in CBS's miniseries, The Last Don. She went on to guest star in Freaks and Geeks. Then in 2000, she appeared beside Shia McBride and Loretta Devine as Louisa Finn on Boston Public. Rashida starred in two seasons, earning an NAACP Image Award nomination in 2002 for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. At the age of 30, Rashida had a big decision to make. In Hollywood, the writer's strike had put a pause on the industry and she wasn't getting any auditions. She nearly left acting altogether for grad school, but then she got the call to join the cast of The Office in 2006. She appeared alongside Steve Carell, Rain Wilson, John Krasinski, Craig Ferguson, and Mindy Kaling. As a fan of the show, Rashida's first day was memorable. The first day on set, I was terrified, Jones admitted. I kept saying to Ed Helms, I feel like I had won some radio contests and they had thrown me into my favorite show. How is that possible? What am I going to do? While acting in 2008, she did her part politically and supported Barack Obama. She, along with Kristen Bell, visited campuses in Missouri to encourage voter registration for the Democratic Party. Then in 2009, she accepted a role in the critically acclaimed NBC hit Parks and Recreation with Amy Poehler, Aziz Ansari, Aubrey Plaza, Chris Pratt, and Rita. In 2012, Rashida gained another NAACP Image Award nomination for her work. In 2016, Rashida put on her multi-hyphenate hat by starring, producing, and directing her own show, Angie Tribeca. Flexing her pen, Rashida went on to write an episode of Netflix's Black Mirror, then served as executive producer on TNT's Claws and gave her voice to Jaden Smith's animated series, Neo Yoko in 2018. In 2019, Jones was named as co-story writer for Toy Story 4. The following year, Rashida joined Kenya Barris in his Netflix series, Black AF, not only in front of the camera, but also behind it as executive producer. Familiar with growing up in black Hollywood, Rashida wanted to tackle the topic. Obviously, I grew up in Hollywood and I have my own experience. And Kenya and I have talked a lot about first and second generation black wealth and how it intersects in Hollywood and what that means and what that feels like, the pressure and the dysfunction that can come from that. In 2021, Rashida went on to executive produce both seasons of AMC's Kevin Can F Himself. Rashida Jones has acting, producing, writing, and directing on lock, beginning her career in front of the camera then applying her talents behind it. She's established a respected career within entertainment. From the early 2000s to current day, her drive to be excellent is apparent. Rashida Jones will keep on putting her stamp on the entertainment industry, leaving her creative mark then and now.